A Tanzanian court has sentenced a married couple to 20 years in jail each for possessing ivory from nearly 100 poached elephants. More than 60% of Tanzania's elephants were killed in the five years to 2014, but the authorities say they are now turning a corner and targeting some of the country's biggest poaching kingpins. Here's Dan Ashby. Well, this case involves nearly half a tonne of ivory from 93 elephants, all of it found in the home of Peter and Leonido Cabby. They have been sentenced to 20 years each in jail, and the length of that sentence shows how seriously the authorities are now taking this crime. Tanzania, of course, has the Ngorogoro, the Salu and the Serengeti National Parks and hundreds of thousands of tourists every year visit here in part to see elephants. But the majority of Tanzania's elephants were killed in the years up to 2014 by poachers, many of them smuggling the illegal ivory into legal markets in Asia. Police here now, though, say that they are making progress. The trial has finally begun of the Chinese grandmother, dubbed the Ivory Queen. And last month, three Chinese men were arrested in a case worth $3.3 million. And that's the biggest trial of its kind in Africa. Now, it was because of the bad publicity around those cases that hundreds of Chinese people marched through the streets of Dar es Salaam to show that the majority of Chinese people are actually against poaching and in support of elephants. But many Tanzanians will see those developments and, of course, the convictions in these trafficking cases and hope that there may be better days ahead for the African elephant. Dan Ashby, CGTN in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.